I've been asking this question, you know, about my own life. You know, I've got a good 40 years left. Like, what is that going to be? God, um, you are optimistic. What's that, 84? Yeah, it's good life. Yeah? You think you'll make it that long? I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm I like hope. 65. I think really? I'm out. Yeah. Matt, don't do that. But see, I can't. Is look. It, it's the cigars, man. It might it, be. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't want to stick around that long anyway. I'd want to die in a fun way, like being backed over by a Dunkin' Donuts truck. Something <laughs> that people could talk about for years. I um, I think your wife would. Uh, she'll be fun. <laughs> I, I, I look at the end of my life so, like my own. like. I have to look at the end of my life in the same way that I look at my own sinfulness. Mm. I can't look at it without Christ. Yeah. And that sounds whatever it sounds like. But, you know, if I if I encounter my right. own just wretchedness, my pride, my selfishness with my mm. family, all that, if I try to explore that without the gaze of the merciful Christ, like I just collapse in on myself. And it's the same thing with the end of my life. If I imagine myself dying in a hospital bed or, or however the hell it's going to happen, I can't look at that uh, apart from the reality of Christ and heaven. Sure. Yeah. yeah, no, it is. It's 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 looking at heaven. It's looking at it's it's like attaching yourself to the cross. It's salvation. It's all those things. But like something in us does want to be like remembered for something. And I think that there's, you know, we have an opportunity with our life, you know, to to witness to And do you think if somebody is, was to respond to you and say well, no, I, I think that's a bit prideful to, yeah. to want to be remembered for something. Do you think they're kidding themselves? That no, this is actually no. part of it. You should desire well, to. I'm not saying. I'm not saying remembered like maybe you will be. This is a great dude. You're reaching tens of thousands of people with this, mm -hmm. right? I'm talking about Liam. Yeah, you know. Like, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Not too it's about like how strange no, is like not how yeah, not yeah. how big it is, right? Um, and <laughs> and this idea that there are saints just folding laundry right now, like just like doing the ordinary things, loving God, mm -hmm. you know, with more more than anything, and then loving the people around <laughs> them. I think more so, it, it it matters more like what my not my what my kids think of me, but like. What they will say at the end, and I, I pray and I want to shape my life around this idea that they will say, dad loved me, you know, dad loved God, dad, dad put God ab above everything yeah. more than like, like even if his friends weren't into it, or even if everybody left, like dad probably w still would have worshiped God. Um, and when it was difficult, dad loved me. And dad was patient with me. And uh, so, so I know that sounds like super pious and like, I'm, I'm, I, but I, but anyway, this is like happening in my head constantly since, since Evan's death. It's just because we did, and it's like we spoke highly of him because he was a mess too. He was a mess too, but he loved. Hey, thanks for watching that clip. Would you like this beautiful, very high quality, definitely not made in China, not that there's anything wrong with that, pints with a quite